<laughs> okay, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> How much for you to lose a toe? No. How much? None, no. Jones. None. None. No. Is there well, any number? Here's the thing. This is the pre ship podcast with Frank Thomas and Jones, your bar life insider, giving you a triple shot of unfiltered industry truth. Yeah, there's nothing. Boom. Yeah, baby. We're on. But to continue the conversation me and Jonesy were just having, uh, Thomas Free episode, by the way. Yeah. How good does that feel? Taking his poor family to New Mexico. How good does that feel? <laughs> on to the land of enchantment. Yeah, I, I love good. it. I feel good saying that every time I say it. Albuquerque, New Mexico, baby. I think that's where they're going. I could just, I could just see the conversation in the house, babe. Can we go to like, can we go to California? No, we're going to go to New Mexico. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Jones. Oh, there's that sweet personality we missed the last few weeks, man. Uh, Dude, we're, I forgot to tell you, we we're talking about the the monsoon Friday night. I fucking have a giant Palo Verde tree in my yard. So Friday night I get home. It's like four in the fucking morning. Yeah. Half of it fell down and it's halfway in the street. Oh, and dude, dude, it's just like a mess. And I'm just like, I just look up the sky like, Hey, thanks. Oh, that's, and of course I live in a neighborhood that has, I have an HOA. Oh, dude. How much so that I, cost? Dude. So I, I wake up at 9 AM. I literally wake up four hours later to get this fucking tree. I get, Literally 90% of it done, except for like the giant trunk. There's still like, you know, probably a four foot trunk in the yard. Yeah. Get it all done. Get it all to the dump. Sunday morning, I get the trunk, you know, into the truck. I take that to the dump. And then I get four missed calls from the HOA. There's a down tree. It needs to get picked up. Oh, I'm like, my God. Dude, I'm like, freak. The, you like, you guys dude. can't give me two days to get a tree down. Like, you can't give me two days <laughs> like, before you start harassing me. Like, like you chopped it down. Yeah. Like you were oh. chopping it down, trying to get it out. Uh, like, dude, HOAs, I I couldn't do it. No, there's no way. Yeah, dude. There, I'm painting my house green if I want. Like, I don't the, care. The thing is, is like the H the HOA isn't necessarily the big deal. It's like the five busy buddies that live in the neighborhood that want to police everybody that use the that weaponize the HOA that have no life. That have no life. They have no life. They're, they're like the 80 year old that lives in the neighborhood and it's like, Hey, I'm sorry that I own a house and I'm literally a quarter of your age, but I'm still working. I don't have time to fucking instantly pick up the street. <laughs> and we'll get up within the week. <laughs> fucking relax. God, dude, I just want to kill people. Ah, uh, Jones. I love seeing you. So aggravated makes me feel good. Yeah. Yeah, brings, right? It brings peace. It brings peace yeah. to my soul. Oh yeah. man. So yeah, how was, was my... uh, how was uh, Cabo? Good man, that was Cabo, tan, man. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that! All right, is that Eric Estrada or is that Justin Jones? Dude, I was in the pool for so long, my hands got so pruny, I couldn't even touch my phone. My phone wouldn't operate. Oh, god bless! Like, that was that was the biggest problem I had in Cabo. Wow, so it was literally zero problems. Poor guy, yeah, it was fucking poor amazing, guy. Dude. That's great, man. But, dude, it's actually pretty crazy. Like, so where we stayed, it was like the bottom of the boot. And you can't get in the ocean because the current is like so strong will just suck you in. Yeah. Is that fucking nuts? Is that yeah. crazy that like they literally won't let you in the water because you could possibly die? That's badass. Yeah. So That's... I'm laying there with my buddy and it's like three in the afternoon. All it's right. Fucking... Jones, you make a friend down there? <laughs> no, I went, I went with a buddy. Oh, all right. But, so we're go. there, we're drinking and there's just this dumb drunk blonde getting in the ocean and the waves are just crushing her. Oh, that's She's great. falling over, and you have like all these poor Mexican security guys, like, "Hey, get out of the water!" <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, Just let, let a shark take. You're on vacation. Yeah. You want to see whatever crazy shit yeah. you can, uh, you can get your eyeballs on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. I haven't, I haven't been down to Mexico in a minute. Frank, you're going to go to Cabo next time. You're going to uh, love it. I don't know, man. I don't I, think you'll come back, dude. I, that's what I'm saying. I, that, yeah. I don't think I would come back. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, good times. Well, I mean, it's amazing if you could like live at that resort. I don't know if I. 
Of course you wouldn't, you. Jones. God <laughs> forbid. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, well, Vegas almost flooded this week. That was great. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice to see we're going viral for looking completely incompetent and knowing how to build like structures that won't flood. Civil, the civil engineer department uh, failed epically. Jesus, man. And you got these people, they're like boogie boarding and shit in the street in this pigeon shit water. You got tunnel people in there like human crocodiles. You got needles and shit. Come on, man. Get the hell out of that water. Who is... Well, dude, I wonder, I wonder how many people got killed. Like how many of the homeless people are like live in all those yeah, drainage. They, in the tunnel in the tunnels, cities? You know what I'm... You know, yeah. Oh, there's bro. Many, like people that live in there. And- oh, dude. I'll, I'll have to see if I can snag some of the video. But yeah, bro, I'm walking out of work. You got people crawling out of the tunnels. Just crawling out. <laughs> like Literally. Apocalypse. Yes. <laughs> Fucking zombie apocalypse. Demolition man style. Yeah, pretty uh pretty nuts, man. But it's all good. What are you gonna do? We needed it. Jesus. Can't really bitch about the water too much. Not when they're yeah. rationing our water, basically. Do you think that uh, any of that water made it back to a uh, Lake Mead? Yes, they said about three inches. Jeez, God what, bless. And it's been and it's like down what sixteen feet? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Sixteen uh, feet just this year. Yeah, a few more bodies probably got washed in there too after this week. Uh, what are you gonna do? We got booze to drink, I guess. What uh, what you drinking there, man? I got the Long Branch, dude. Oh, okay. The old Long Branch. Okay. I've been addicted to it ever since we sampled it on the show. Oh, I'm not mad at that. Ten years ago. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, going dry right now. Feeling yeah. good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Training for our eventually uh, race rematch. Oh, well, see, that's where I got the leg up on you. You got to... The best workout is where you just drink. Because yeah. you can just move past the soreness. You don't feel it because you're just... Kind of buzz because you're just numb and but yeah, and in handcuffs, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you see any crazy shit down in Mexico? No, dude, like I said, it just it always puts things in perspective when you when you go to a different like, dude, it's crazy when you go from the airport to you know, like the resort area, yeah, like, dude, oh, literally the people are just living in a cinder block square. With the, like you know like the, like that's their house no paint no nothing it's just cinder blocks no ac nothing it's crazy it always just kind of puts life in perspective for me all right jones way to bring up the show yeah, brother I'm just saying, I'm all just right saying. yeah life's not that bad oh yeah life is feel, great. life I'm is feeling, great. as, as good as crazy and in and as shitty as life can be sometimes we got it good i'm yeah. not bitching there's a new Randy's Donuts out here, bro. You would have thought like, I I drove by it today, new donut shop. You would have thought like, they're handing out like free hooker tickets and like gold. I've never heard of Randy's Donuts. Is this like Krispy Kreme competition or something? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a a staple in California. Would you would in your expert opinion? Do you think it's better than Krispy Kreme? My expert opinion on donuts. Oh man, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Actually, I think a, a Krispy Kreme is is pretty solid. Pretty solid. We got Pink Box out here though. Pink boxes. They they come up with all like the crazy shit. Yeah, like I don't the, know about it either. Oh man, I love me. Yeah, a good I'm donut. not a big sweet guy. I don't. I'm, oh, it's hard for me to eat a lot of sweets. Oh, I'm a donut guy. All yeah, right. Dude, when I, you All know, right. When I eat, when I eat a donut, I'll have like a bite. I'm like, man, that tastes good. And then I just, in my head, I visualize your old physique, and I'm like, yeah, I don't need to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice to see. I motivate you. Yeah, uh, old physique. I'm trying to be nice. Oh you. yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, no, dude. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a no donut guy, or I'm eating four. I'm eating three or four. 
I'm I'm doing a I'm doing an apple fritter. God, apple dude, fritter. Okay. Apple fritters probably my favorite donut. Got apple fritters. Apple fritters are amazing. Um, I'm going uh uh but they gotta be kind of soft on the inside. I hate oh yeah, hard failing. on the outside, soft yeah, on the middle. But like you just you bite in and then it's hey, still and you're like, motherfucker. Hey, you know, I'm a little like a bear claw, I guess. You know? Yeah. You know, I'm tough on the outside. You get to know me, I'm I'm soft and squishy in the middle, I guess. Uh what what else is there? What else is a damn good donut? Bro, like the um I like to like the butterscotch, like uh you know, like the long one, like the rectangle one. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Whenever I go in the grocery store, I always look at them. Uh huh. And then I, I can't ever actually get one, but I'm just like, oh man, but that tastes really good. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Like food porn, but like you don't actually sleep with it. You just look at it. You just look at the donuts. Yeah, yeah. You just now, look at it. Yeah. See, I'm the guy. Here's the thing. I ain't jacking you. I'm not doing that. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy no more. I'm not doing that. But if I'm ringing up my own groceries, I'm getting a giant donut and I'm ringing in like one donut. I'm like ringing in one donut for like a donut. <laughs> you mean you're putting like five donuts in the bag? Exactly. And, and yeah. I'm paying for one. Kiss my ass. Kiss my yeah. ass. I'm working here. How did, you know what's crazy is how, how like that just became a thing. How we're just, they're like, Don't you know what? Out. We're tired of paying people to bag your shit. Bag your own shit. And we do it. Eh? Well, what are you going to do? K- kiss my Honestly, ass. dude, I prefer it because... Yeah, me too. Needed, I'm faster at doing it than the fucking cashier that's being paid to do it. Oh, there you go, Joe. So I could get out of there a lot quicker. Oh, there but you go, it's, Joe. It's like a double-edged sword, though. If there's a long line, it takes double as long because every fucking retard doesn't quite get like, oh, what's a PLU code? It's a fucking code. Just type it in oh, for man. an Apple or whatever. Yeah. Jones, Jones, man. So in that instance, I'll wait in line for someone to ring me up. Yeah, I'm, 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 unfortunately, I'm a self checkout guy too. But or if you're buying alcohol, I always go because I don't want to wait for an employee to eventually come and ID me. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. But then it's like, you go to Korean barbecue, got to cook your own food. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm I'm going out and paying for shit so I don't have to do shit. I can do it. But that's the point of paying for something, right? Yeah. You know, like the whole premise? You're not wrong. Right? I mean, I got to say, I don't really go to corner. Korean barbecue places. So, oh man, I had a had some ramen today. Delish, Jesus, delish. Wait, is that is that how you're losing weight? You're just eating ramen, just eating broth, just drinking broth in my thong, just trying to make sure the 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 fit is just right. Yeah, man, hit Chinatown. That was fun. Vegas has a cool Chinatown. I don't think I've... Oh, no, I take that back. I feel like I was there with you once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We absolutely were there. Yeah, we were there once. Yeah, and that's when I woke up at the restaurant with your debit card. I don't even know how I got... I don't even know how I left that place, to be honest with you. I don't know how you left either. I don't know how I got out of there. I I don't know how we got there. That was one of those nights. And that was... uh, Yeah, that was when we were still a little crazy crazy. I guess. Well, but, that's when you were crazy, crazy. Yeah, I'm still, yeah, I that's still true. Drink. Yeah, you still do. I'm, I, I retired that guy. Man, see, well, see, you're under the impression that you're going, you're not going to lose weight if you drink it. That's where you're wrong. It'll be fine. <laughs> you're out. You see, there, you see, there's Jones. Jones is that guy. Jones is the, Jones is the snake in the Garden of Eden. That's who Jones is. Hey. Hey, it's just I one bite. Feed, I only feed you the truth. You hey. can, it's better to have a couple <laughs> glasses of whiskey than go to McDonald's or Jack in the Box. I don't do that either anymore. Yeah, well, I do sometimes, but you know what you yeah, gotta do? Yeah, yeah, you gotta well, live well, life still. Yeah. yeah, that's why you drink. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I'm not disagreeing, man. I'm just trying to lose some pounds, all right? Chill out. Eventually, you'll you'll hear me out. It's always <laughs> quality over quantity. Your entire life has been about 
quantity <laughs> over quality. As soon as you, as soon as you, you make know, that transition, Frank, your you know, going to become magnificent. Unfortunately, Jones, you may have been right this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, let's go get a real, to a really nice steakhouse. Now nah, I'm good with just getting McDonald's. You know, how nah, much money I'm good. Get? That's that's one thing I I don't think I'll budge on. To be honest, is the steakhouse. Oh, dude. Is the steakhouse them. thing. Here's my thing. If I can get a good steak for 50 bucks, how much better can the $300 That's steak That's what I'm really saying, be? dude. Dude, Come you've never on. had a steak just melt in your mouth. Um, like, I'm good, actually. Oh, I God think I'm good, it. man. I'm getting a chub just talking about yeah, it right now. Yeah. God bless. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, and it's I'm, not three hundred dollars. It's like a hundred dollars. I'm uh, I'm more of a chicken guy anyway. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I've always been kind of a chicken guy. Yeah. You are what you eat. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, lots of stuff going on out there. Lots of stuff. Lots of craziness. DUIs. Just nuts going on out there. A lot of crazy shit happening in bars, man. A lot of a lot of fights. A lot of a lot of weirdo shit. I in think Vegas. Uh, no, I mean everywhere. 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 Keep that bad juju away from me. Okay? Yeah, it's been it's been. No, there was a there was one without incidents are like in double digits here. There you go. Yeah. All right. I Remember love that. that. Used to be my favorite thing with you. Every oh yeah, we'd have an incident. I'd oh like, yeah. Days without incidents, incidents zero. zero. As I'm as I'm Dude. filling out a police report, <laughs> and an incident report, or, doing all the paperwork, or wiping puke or blood or God knows what else off my fucking shirt. Asking the door guys what happened. Oh the guy God! Got mad and they respond, "Well, I called the guy a Bruce Lee looking." Oh yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Oh wait, what? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh back when you could just fire someone on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> uh what's your what's uh man, I'm trying to think here. I know you used to love those days when I was still down there dealing with hell. What's your what's your favorite what's your favorite story of the shit we had to deal with together? Dude, my all time and I do we we told the story. I think I know what like it is. Four times. Is it the pee guy? Yeah, no, it's no. Oh, the guy no. in the pants. The guy in the leather pants, oh, man. That's, that's got to be my all time favorite story because, <laughs> yeah, dude, there's nothing worse. You're already pissed off because you're you just got to work. It's just like fuck, and all you want to do is just sit there for like five minutes and just comprehend that you have to be there for the next twelve hours. Yes. And that was your mindset. And it was like, hey, Frank, actually, there's this guy you got to kick out right now. <laughs> yeah. You haven't even set your keys down. Yeah. And your face just said it all. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. That's, you know, that's, that's one of those things. Like when you work at a bar. That like. Somebody could walk in and tell you you have to deal with some shit right now. And it could be almost anything. Yeah, you know, it could be somebody complaining. Hey, my beer doesn't taste good, or you know, there's some hair in my food, or anything. There's dude. a fight, or anything. Like it could literally be almost anything. Especially when you have five. Like, dude, the the movie that moved me was Office Space because it just. Everything that happens in office space, I'm just like, yes, it's real life. So when you're at work, something happens. Person one comes up and tells you, all right, I'll be right there. Then person two comes up and tells you, oh, yeah, I got it. I'll be right there. I know. Then person three comes up and you're like, yeah, I fucking know. Oh. I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. And, and they it, all think they're the first person to tell you. And then you're mad by the fifth person because <laughs> you're like, you're just now getting around to telling me this. Yeah. You fucking moron. I already know. I actually already took care of it. God, yeah. Jones, you yeah. sound like me now, man. Yeah. I I think Angry Frank just left me and yeah. that's why I that's why took I you over, man. That's why I drink. I forget about it. it brings yeah. <laughs> it brings out my inner zen. God bless. Yeah. It, uh, it it numbs me. Uh, that's fair. 
Uh, yeah, but to finish that story, there was a, there was a guy get to work there for about, I don't know, five minutes. Jones comes back just giggling, just giggling like a schoolgirl. Granted, he'd been drinking for about seven hours at that point. For the last three days. Yeah, for the last four, five weeks, maybe. Who knows? And uh, yeah, so they're like, hey, there's some guy out in the bar and uh, he's naked. He doesn't have any pants on. And I think they're bullshitting me because why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be joking about that? It's five in the afternoon. And then, uh, yeah, so I walk out there and uh, there's a guy in his tidy whities and he's got uh, these tight black leather pants that he had ripped right up the thighs to his ball sack and uh, thought the the best idea to fix the pants were to uh, take them off in the bar and uh, try to adjust and get his legs back into the inner linings. And, uh, yeah, so I I take the guy outside, and uh, I'm trying to fix his pants for him because I want to get him the hell out. Mind you, Scotty, I'm I'm recording on my phone, like, the entire time through the window, just giggling like a little schoolgirl. Yeah, and it's it's at least 105 degrees outside. It's It's the middle of summer. I'm sweating, and uh, this guy's just looking at me. I'm trying to fix his pants, and uh, they're not on him, by the way. Uh, And I'm trying to fix them, and then he just starts flicking his package. Just flick, 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 flick. I, I he's trying to he's trying to arouse himself by looking at you because your your looks aren't doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess, man. And uh, I go, hey, man, you uh, you might want to cut that shit out right now, please. And then he proceeds to say, I wasn't that hot anyway. That was great. But uh, eventually, got his pants on and left, and then uh, tried to fight a. A female patron at the next bar and then uh got arrested i think god bless yeah but he well, did he did drop 80 bucks in his uh ball sack keychain yeah, which i was that, able to keep by far one of that, my favorite story yeah so it was uh all of it was almost completely worth it i guess for 80 bucks because i mean there's there's the penguin story yeah there's the penguin story got bit but, uh got but bit, i mean the guy uh-huh. flicking his dick. I mean, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's when you're really rethinking some life choices. When uh, you got somebody sitting in a picnic chair, uh, just eyeballing you up and down, flicking his tidy whities. God bless. Frank, if, if we had a time machine and we could go back for every time I was right, remember when I was like, dude, we just pitch O'Malley's as a TV show. We'll be rich within two years, and we never have to do this again. No, oh, I'm not going to be on fucking TV. Are you fucking out of your fucking mind? Oh, you're a thousand percent. You're a million percent right. It Between the people that you had to kick out and the pranks I pulled on you, it was, dude, it was, it would we would have been millionaires. Pure Wendy, or pure, uh, pure O'Malley's gold. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you're, you're not wrong. We, uh, we, we, uh, we missed a meal ticket there. It's okay. It'll yeah. come. Uh, yeah, man, it just brings it up. Cause, uh, there's some dude, I think it was in I think it was in Europe somewhere. One of the bouncers just banging a chick in the middle of the bar, butt naked, and everybody's just cheering him on. In Europe? Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Do? what are you gonna do? Like that's just normal. That's like what, ha- Amsterdam? That's like happy hour there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like a normal brunch. I feel like they don't really care as much like in Europe. It's just like, yeah, if you want to have sex and fuck, just get it over with really quick. Well, I, I feel like, I feel like I will say this. Mind you, I'm just going off all the porn I've watched. (laughs) God bless. (laughs) Yeah. But I feel like, and I could be wrong, but I feel like they're not as destructive when they're wasted. Or maybe not as, as violent. Maybe, maybe that's more happy. Go happy. Go lucky. They sing more. They dance more. 
Yeah, unless their their soccer or their football team loses. Then oh they get yeah, then up. it's then you get then the hooligans. Then tomorrow. it's complete anarchy. Yeah, complete anarchy. I don't know. I I refuse to fear a soccer fan. To be honest, I respect the sport, but I still refuse. Uh, I don't know, man. I think I would take some of those those hooligans. They don't really give two fucks. Well, yeah, they're nuts. Yeah, that's what I'm Here's saying. The, thing, like, the more popular soccer is in a country, the less I want to live there. Because it's just so, more. So you only want to live in America. Yeah, God bless. <laughs> yeah. God bless. I guess the only reason you want to live in America. God bless the USA. At this point, in American football. You might be right. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? You gonna do lots of uh, lots of craziness. What else, man? Oh, dude. Do you see uh, uh. Shooter McGavin got a Dewey. Stop from Happy Gilmore. Yeah, and then he's like, "Hey, man, to get out of it." He's like, "I was in Happy Gilmore." It's like, "Yeah, man, that's what everybody knows you from." Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I would have let him go though. I would have let him go. Who doesn't love Shooter uh, McGavin? No, but see, he has the money for it. Yeah, he let, does. Let, let let someone that doesn't have the money for it let them go. <laughs> yeah basically but, right because that guy's probably drinking because he's he's one he's one fucking step away from a bullet to the head <laughs> jesus <laughs> man yeah. all right jones thank yeah, you very always much Always bringing up the show always always a ray of sunshine uh man yeah oh dude this was great uh, dude we need to do a show in florida i just want us to walk around florida like it's National Geographic. Hey, we're go- I'm going to Orlando in April. Oh, geez. Next April? Yeah, you got plenty of time. We're doing the Disney World trip. You're doing a Disney World Are trip. Are you in? Jones, no, I'm not. You Why not? You You're terrified. You're on all the rides now. Oh, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, brother. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jones, you get in the bobsled ride now. A Disney World trip? Oh, bro, I'd be a badass bobsledder. Actually, that that might have been my my sport because I'm like I'm fast, but I'm compact, I'm like a bullet. Basically, probably could have been a good rear man in bobsled team. Rear man doesn't the weight need to be in the front? Oh, uh, know. shit, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We're gonna have to do. Something. I would say the front. I feel like that they could go faster. All the weights in the front. You know what? I hate to say it. I think you're right. Yeah. God damn it. Oh well. Yeah, dude. I'm like three for three today. God, you are on fire, my friend. Yeah. Or I'm just losing it. I'm just but, losing. Yeah, it, we man. could do the show in Orlando, Florida. Ah, I don't know. I've been to Disney World before. Granted, it have was you ever been, have you ever been to twenty Epcot? years ago? Yeah. God, dude, were you able to drink when you went to Epcot? No. Oh God, Frank. It's it's almost my third place in the world because Jones, you have all the different worlds. I I ha- no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have a rule. I got a thing about grownups that go to Disneyland by themselves. I'm here's not the going thing. by myself, dumbass. I'm going with a bunch of people. Yeah. The, the, even now, nah, nah. I'm <laughs> I'm not in. I'm not in. I'm not in on the whole adults doing Disneyland thing. Let it go. The shit's for the kids. That's uh, adults or uh, Universal Studios or something like that. Disneyland, to, leave for the we're kids. Going to, we're going to Universal Studios as well. We could put a GoPro on you and put you on some of these scary rides that you could be on before. I would get on the rides. That's what I'm saying. Now we could put a GoPro on you. Frank's GoPro. Oh, man. Maybe. Put you on that Hulk coaster. Yeah, I'll I don't pay know. the guy a hundred bucks to make it stop upside down for an hour. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the point in my life where like, like roller coasters scare me, dude. Oh, that's okay. See, the roller coaster. I, t- I was telling my employees this. The roller coasters themselves don't scare me, but I I've developed a severe, like claustrophobic. Like, dude, I don't like being strapped in. Yeah, dude, they they strap you in, and I'm just like, how the fuck do I get out of this thing? Like, that's not- all I can think about. Like, I have to take deep breaths. No, see, I'm I'm the opposite. Strap me in, please. I don't want to die on, on a roller coaster. 
No, no thanks, man. That is not that is not making the anywhere near my top of the list on the way to go. <laughs> Roller coaster, no thank you, bro. I'm good. I uh I hope to be on the ground, if anything. But anyways, Epcot, yeah. they have food and drinks from each country that they have. So, like, by the second world, dude, I'm fucking plastered and full, and it's just a bar. Oh, that's cool. So you're just bar yeah. hopping. You're yeah. just bar hopping. Dude, they have, they have like, they have Japan, they have China, they have Finland, they have, they have Mexico, and then they just have liquor and beer from each country. So you just kind of sit there and get annihilated. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. You get drunk in any country right now. And not including Mexico. Because that's, you know, that's that's pretty close. Any country, where are you going? I'm staying Ireland, dude. Oh, okay. All right. Why are you going Ireland? Uh, like Ireland, World Cup, soccer, soccer match. I'm half Irish. I don't know. They just seem to know how to drink over there. All right. All right. They're men. It's like, hey, it's cold. We're going to get fucked up. I don't hate that. I think, uh, God, I'm choosing one. I think I'm going Amsterdam. Getting stoned. That's my plan. Yeah. 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 Those both sound pretty dumb to uh, me. I knew it. Oh, I thought, God. you know. You hey, know that was the stupid question. I don't you, even know what the question was. You know, I think I'm losing reception here. You know, <laughs> I, I felt it. I felt it before I heard it. It's like a turd. <laughs> My brother's like a turd. Off. I she, right. He's just like, damn. What is that? Like, I'm like pink eye. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like when you wake up and you're like, you're like, fuck. Am I sick? <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm saying? What that? For me, it's that's fuck, almost am I still alive. That's almost worse than being sick. <laughs> it's like when you first wake up and you're like, oh shit. I'm cold. Oh, damn it. I can't <laughs> breathe. So what? Cold? What is that? What is that? <laughs> no, the For worst. every time I can't breathe right, I always picture my brother just cackling in one of my nostrils laughing. <laughs> the worst thing to wake up to is when you've been sweating oh, and you're yeah. drenched in sweat. And you're, the, the blankets are wet and you're just like, oh, yeah, that's what the terrible. fuck is going on? And then you get no. cold, but the blankets no. are wet. But that doesn't work with my brother, Jones. He's just sweaty all the time. He's that's, just damp. That's, that's my why trick. That's he sleeps in the water bed. <laughs> that's my trick, Captain. I'm always sweating. No. No, the absolute worst, God, and I hate to admit this, is like, if you ever gotten so shit-faced, you pissed the bed. <laughs> You loser. Jones, you ever piss the bed? You'll never admit that. <laughs> Dude, I would. You I coward. Just, I don't think I have. You coward, Jones. <laughs> I've definitely vomited in the bed. I sure as hell know my brother has. <laughs> it's basically like a family trait that gets passed down. I hope I don't piss the bed tonight. What yeah. <laughs> Cause my brother might be pissing the bed now. I'm stone cold sober. On all that Albuquerque hooch. <laughs> He could get his all that Albuquerque moonshine. He could get oh, his hands on. I'm, I'm living like a king in the 505 right yeah, now. Yeah, Albuquerque moonshine is made out of cactus. I think <laughs> cacti. Cacti. Oh, how long are you in uh, New Mexico, there, Thomas? Uh, who are you working for, pal? Yeah. Whoa. I'm okay. Just wondering. <laughs> Fucking Mister IRS agent over here and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's where you went. He didn't go to Cabo, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, we're celebrating the uh, the offspring's second birthday. All right, there you go. Yeah, it was uh, it was nine hours. Wanted uh, wanted some green chili for his birthday. Apparently, that's right. You're welcome. Son. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how uh, God, how was that drive? How's the how was the trip? To be honest, the drive was actually pretty chill. All right. Like it went by really fast. Yeah. It's bizarre to say. Ah, you got a, you, you got a, here's the thing. You got a, God damn it. Why can't I think of it? (laughs) Well, like whenever we, whenever we went to Sedona, that was an easy four hours. Oh yeah. So like powered through. Yeah. It was, it was chill. Yeah. 
gas prices are out of control though, dude. Yeah, welcome to the real world. Then you get you get into Albuquerque, it's like three twenty five. Oh yeah. <laughs> you get to it's Albuquerque. A different planet. Yeah, dude. you go to Albuquerque and it's like it's like Back to the Future three. It's like you just <laughs> went back to the Wild West. Oh yeah. Jesus. It's like it's like uh it's like Tucson's, you know, weird cousin. Weird cousin down the block. <laughs> It's like, it's got the same feel, the same smell to it. Just different. <laughs> Dude, I, I've been to New Mexico twice when I was in travel hockey. And this is like yeah. when I was like a young teen and we had to drive. And I was just like, what a shithole. What a shithole. <laughs> Joan's what like, damn, Ugh, no. <laughs> Ugh. it's dirty here, mom. Yeah, it's just, it's dirty here. Oh, yeah. That's just, oh. Travel hockey in New Mexico. <laughs> the worst. That is absolutely Jones. That sentence, travel hockey in New Mexico, <laughs> describes Jones's whole life. He's so easy to hate. God bless. <laughs> He's the easiest person to hate. <laughs> nah, not in the world. Just on this show. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, I still I think it's know. a tie. Yeah, it's probably it's pretty yeah, three way tie. Oh <laughs> uh, god, good times, man. Good times. Oh yeah, man. We uh we stopped in Flagstaff. I will never do that again. Why? <laughs> the hippies Dude. overrun you or what? <laughs> no. Dude, so we stop at obviously a McDonald's, right? The go-to. Oh yeah, of course. It's the go-to. If yeah, you what do you get? You know, if you here's the thing. You're if you road trip. Anything longer than you know four or five hours, you're getting a Mickey, just, you're you're getting a Mickey D stop in there. Oh yeah. Who are you bullshitting? Don't overthink it. Who are you bullshitting? And, and they know it. They got it. Absolutely. They're everywhere. They're at every right. damn truck stop everywhere. <laughs> Dude, but this is how you it's just different, man. So we get in there, right? And the guys are literally like working on the tiles. Okay. But they're like they're like jackhammering. Oh, that's awesome. So like it's it's like, why is this dining room open at all? Oh, that's great. <laughs> like it's like, why don't you just close the walk whole thing around down? the broken shards, please? <laughs> Dude, it was literally right by the cash register. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it didn't even make sense. Even better. You ain't slow. I'm like, I'm like, please hit my foot. Please take a now. toe. <laughs> <laughs> please take a toe Not I want that pinky, golden though. arch money <laughs> Not the pinky I want my balance <laughs> Okay, okay, here's the thing Here's the thing How much for you to lose a toe? No How much? None, no. Jones? None, None? No. There ain't well, a number? Here's the thing I like to wear flip flops Okay, I like to okay. wear flip flops so okay. my price is up A million a toe <laughs> one million for one toe. A million per toe. Mm, I'm gonna say more. I, I'm not content with this one bill. And it would be like my ring toe. I guess that's what you refer to. Do I get to pick the toe? toe. Yeah, that's a my index toe. That's a very important question. Do I get yeah. to pick the toe? Uh, You're not taking no. my fucking big toe. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, okay. You can't take the pinky or the big one. Am I right? <laughs> and you and you can't take the, the long one because then you're never wearing flip flops. <laughs> okay. Hey man, that they're paying you. So you're right? down to four. You're down <laughs> to four toes. It's the one next to the small toe. The center and the left guard are the expendable, left, apparently. The left guard is the only and one. And the that's center falling. and the right guard on the right foot. I'm literally pressing down right now with my toes to like that, that's the most unimportant one right now. With the I'm one next to the one pinky? Yes. One of the guards. One of the guards. One of the guards oh, go. man. Okay. The tackles are important. The center's important. You oh. got to get rid of one of the guards. Okay. What if you can take one of your fingers and make it a toe? <laughs> no. no I'm not getting rid of fingers. any of my. Yeah. I'd okay. My Maybe I'm giving up my left pinky. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I might. Mean? 
Hey, 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 you can't give that up anyway. I might. God. <laughs> no, not my left pinky toe. My left pinky, you son of a bitch. All right. You stinking bastards. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm, you know what? I'm going to find a way to part with two toes. I'm going to make it happen. For how much? For a million each. You, you're going to get a toe. I'm, I'm getting two mil you're out of it. be Homer Simpson. But. Ninja Turtle. Heads. Okay. Okay. But you got to cut it off yourself. Yeah, dude, no, what I'm the not fuck doing is that. wrong with you? Yeah, there's no way. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's well, You just r- going to take a rough. chisel and fucking hammer it No, off. you got to hit the button. There's like a guillotine. <laughs> There's a guillotine, but you got to hit the button. Uh, no. It feels no. so much worse if you got to do it yourself for some reason, yeah, right? No. Oh, no. yeah. No. Yeah. How the hell are because we Because then here? it's like sick. No, I want it to be accidental. Yeah. Right? I'm, yeah. I'm just flailing on the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, I know my brother's, li- my brother's passing out. It's probably going to kill him. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably going to kill him. My two-year-old's trying to pick me up. Yeah. (laughs) You know, one of my toes could fall off and I might not notice. I I think, (laughs) I think out of everyone, I might be the best. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm getting paid. Anything that happens at a McDonald's. Yeah. Let me just look at that cash though. I can look, (laughs) if I get to look at the cash, like if you walk up and you just open up a briefcase, I'm like, oh, pull, do it. Do it now. That's probably the motivation. No, I'm going. I'm I'm going minimum ten million a toe. Ten Jeez. mil a toe. Ten mil. What do you think you're Usain Bolt? No. Here's the thing. It's People at a lose toes all the time. It's at a McDonald's. Oh, number one. oh, okay. Number if you're at McDonald's, two, okay. Number two, all the inflation. No, nah, I need ten mil. Ten one mil. Million, eight, the one million is not going. That's nothing for McDonald's. Ten mil a toe. Okay, but yes. if you're trying to get 10 mil, you're going to need a hell of a lawyer. Uh, you're probably losing half of that just yeah, to the see, lawyer. And then to taxes. Tax and then taxes, you're losing another half. So you're probably well, you're probably winning are, 10. You're walking with two and a half. Okay, and your one million is now two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, you're probably right. God damn it. I, didn't, I didn't think. So about what are we that. talking about? Here? I didn't think about that. All right, <laughs> all right. Ten mil might be the new floor. <laughs> that might be the new floor. Yeah, man. Or, or I'm taking half a mil and food for life. No matter what I want, anytime, anywhere. Now you just resell it. Probably make more money. Food for life? That's an interesting one. Right? Yeah, but you never get your money's worth. There's no way. No. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. Nah, give me cash. Or give me a McDonald's. (laughs) Or you just give me one. I'm not mad at that. If you're owning one fast food franchise, which one you want to own? In and out. Oh, okay. I don't hate that. <laughs> man, they're on it, bro. Props to man. You go to In and Out and they're like fucking Oompa Loompas there, bro. Like there is no bullshitting at all. It's actually what? impressive. They it's actually like, 20... like it's like they're brainwashed almost. No, yeah. it's called indoctrination, and there's like 20 of them working. It's like one guy does one thing. Bro, like they don't mess. They're like worker bees. They're like ants. Yeah. yeah. For the greater good. Yeah. It's like intimidating. <laughs> like whoever it's runs weird. in and out should just be running the country. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> whoever runs in and out should be in charge of the country. I will give them that. I'm not saying no. it's the best food, but they should absolutely be in charge. No, and the most expensive make, thing is less than five bucks. They would make everybody eat the same exact thing, drive the same exact thing. We'd all be the same person. Ah, uh, uh, you might be right. No, yeah, but maybe we could use man. that. I don't know, man. No, I don't no. know. I don't I'm know. I'm the I'm, keys over to anyone. Brother. I'm giving them props, man. <laughs> if I if I want anybody running this place, I think it's the guy who runs in and out. The <laughs> one know. on a. The one on Rainbow, anyway. <laughs> no, you're a psychopath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good times. 
Thomas prefers the Jack in the box where you got, you got the guy smoking in the walk-in and another guy's <laughs> taking a shit and just Hell one yeah. boy's kind of doing everything. Hey, at least it's honest, Jones. <laughs> at least it's honest. At least it's yeah. honest, not Phil. Some, not yeah. some Scientology fucking hamburger bullshit. Oh, yeah, that's great. Man. Oh, man. So how long are you going to be out there for? Uh, I'm going to drive back Saturday. Oh, all right. Man. And what's today, Tuesday? Oh, yeah. Oh, Five yeah. days in the Kirky. Oh, yeah. And then I got... Dude, I, I have nine <laughs> straight days off. Yeah, what a piece of trash. P- paid. Paid, oh, what baby. A piece of trash. Give me my money. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> Oh, Frank, all of our days off are paid. For. I know that's a good thing. <laughs> so suck it. Hey, yeah, sure they are. Sure, yeah, they are. except for your soul. Except for the part except of your soul. Except when they text you, they call you, they ask you the questions. No, what soul? Ahead, There's no soul left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, look at Jones. He thinks he's he thinks he's like Dirk Diggler and dude. I'm gonna be comfortable. No, man, Jones. No. Flexible. No. Jesus. Thank God I can't see Thank any of Thank God this. nobody's watching this live. <laughs> Jesus. So this could be censored out. Oh, I man. could be wearing shorts. God help Or no us. pants. <sighs> no. Jones. Maybe next year I'll wear some white tighties and surprise you guys. No, you won't. Yeah, he <laughs> won't. No, you won't. Jones oh, will I out. will. I, okay. Done. <laughs> I go on Amazon right now and buy some. <laughs> like he doesn't have 25 pairs already <laughs> I like how Jones acts like he doesn't own tidy white sliding already. across his house in socks yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> Jones wears booty socks inside his own house oh <laughs> uh, yeah god man god Jones, Jones oh, wears man. tidy whiteies with cowboy boots. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a dip in his mouth. That's oh, just yeah. how I view him in his home. <laughs> Red, white, and blue flag uh, tiny whiteies, too. Dude, it's so funny you say that because there's, there's... Oh, you can't... Oh, you're just blinding us. <laughs> American with a big eagle where the dick is. I oh, think God bless. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, great. Jones, let it go. No, I can't. Why do you shop at American Eagle still? Or or Calvin Klein. Ooh. What's wrong with you, Jones? Oh, no. Calvin Klein is definitely Jones's uh, forte right there. Yeah. yeah. Thank God I'm not Jones. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I'd be out on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. No. Oh. It's so good to get football back, though, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great yeah. feeling. Oh, yeah. There's nothing Foot- like it. Football, it's literally the best. Oh, literally, I hate it. football season is the best. Yeah. Because I hate it. It. It, start, it. it finds a way to eat up your whole life in a way. Every. That's why I don't do fantasy, man. Me too. I'm it's done. It's too much. Yeah. I quit playing fantasy after uh, being in a league with Jones. And he was the guy who decided to have his team and then uh, make up like a fake person <laughs> and de- and decide to draft for them. And then he just mysteriously started Swapped. trading all the good players to his team. <laughs> all right. Well, you were leaving out a lot of the story. Here. No, that's basically was, the entire story. You were story. embarrassed that's, that you didn't was think the of it. That's literally. Yeah. And he was the we commissioner. Had, we had. Yeah. He. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, he was in charge and was supposed to. Jones was just the government. That's <laughs> we had that's what people, Jones. He was just teams, the government. Eight teams. Someone dropped out the day of the draft, which we've only left seven. Everyone wanted an even number. So I was like. No one has to know that they dropped out. I'll just say they're still playing. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And fine. you're the retard that let me be down. the commissioner. So what do you expect? Yeah, that you is... You voted Jones. for me to be the commissioner. Oh, please. Yeah. You had your mind? Yeah. I joined that league kicking and screaming because you needed people. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. And that's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. No, I like to gamble like an adult. <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, I like to feel the loss instantly. No, it's too much, man. That's uh, it's way, way too, too much. much. It's way too much, dude. And they got everyone. You got right football on four days a week. You know, too you, much. It, too much. It's too much. Too much. But now I'm at the point to where if they changed it, I'd get pissed probably. <laughs> You wouldn't know what to do. I hate confused. it. I wouldn't know what to do on a Thursday. Well, they can God still for- get rid of the Thursday night game. God forbid they get rid of Monday. Imagine. I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> I walk around lost, just wandering like, the streets. You'd be like, where's the Jets and Jags on a where? Monday night? Please. God, please help I me. I complain that it's trash, but I'm still watching. But I'm watching every second. God, and that's how you know they got you. They got a psych crap. Because now, now you can bet on literally anything, anything. anytime. No, I am good. Anytime, anywhere. You can bet like on under, the quarter, the under, half, under the, twenty women's World Cup soccer right now. You're betting on it. Yeah, I got Brazil over Costa Rica. The game's on right Jones, now. You? Oh yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Golden Brown, Jones, baby. are you? Hey, buddy. Hey, <laughs> you can tell us, man. Are you all right? Jesus, Jones. Well, I'm all right until I have to hear your voice, Thomas. Then it, then it, then I start trying to. Drift I mean, come away. on, man. This show is not an intervention. <laughs> well, I, why did ref- I call in, man. I, ref- why, did you, I, why did you tell me it was an intervention? That's the only reason. I, I refuse <laughs> because you wouldn't answer any other way. God, my brother Jesus. is my brother is that guy. By you said the way. it would be an intervention. My brother is that guy. My brother is the guy that you basically have to lie to to get him to text you back. <laughs> well, you're just not getting the message. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm busy. Uh, it's like uh oh hey man. What's going on for Christmas? <laughs> crickets, 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 <laughs> crickets. Like my brother is literally that guy. I'm never on my phone. But Frank, you're missing you the positive. Do? He doesn't respond. It means you don't have to buy presents. Oh no, he yeah, still wants the presents. <laughs> That's it. The, well, yeah, the, you know, the, like a, yeah, a carrot and a stick. If the only answer, yeah, the only time my brother answers is when he thinks he's getting something <laughs> on my birthday, bro. <laughs> bro, I ask him. I'm like, hey, hey, what's uh, you know, what's my nephew's favorite cartoon? <laughs> and he'll just text back. Send cash. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, what a scumbag. Yeah, my brother's that guy. (laughs) Jones, I told him, my two-year-old said, send me cash, money player. Yeah, send cash. That's what he's, those are his words. Those aren't my words. What do you want me to do? Yeah, that's, uh, that's who my brother is. (laughs) Oh, what a scumbag. <laughs> and I'm going to write down how much cash you sent him. Yeah. Just to let him know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. How much, how much Uncle Frank hey, loves. tax him. him. <laughs> Don't tax us. This was a gift. Tax him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's my brother. God bless. Oh, man. Any plans out there? Yeah, I'm gonna take him to the aquarium. I'm gonna take him to the zoo. We got a whole bunch of things planned out. Zoo and New, New, to it. New Mexico has an aquarium oh, or yeah, a boy. zoo. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling like you go to the zoo in New Mexico and it's just like one goat. <laughs> and a chicken. Should be some dude's yeah, yard it's just one goat and a chicken. <laughs> farm, farm animals, and it's like ring the doorbell. <laughs> You can buy yeah, some. Back. Yeah, you can buy some sunflower seeds from the guy with the machete for two dollars. Hey, hey, this ain't this ain't Bonnie Springs, baby. Oh, Shout out! Oh hell! Oh hell! Rest Jesus. in peace. Oh man. Uh yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah. All right, boys. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. All right. Well. Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess let's just get the hell out of here then. I I ain't mad. I'm not mad at that at all. From the level nine Owaza studio. Uh yeah. Let's uh Yeah, you gonna be here next week? Yeah, I'll be there. Ah damn it. Ah <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know, I think I'm coming down with something. God, hopefully it's monkey pox. <laughs> God willing, it's monkeypox, please. Uh, well, all right, boys and girls, we will uh, we will catch you next week. YouTube, Apple, Spotify, Instagram, you you know where to find us. You know all that shit. Got it. Got some special guests coming up soon. Gonna have some fun stuff coming. I'm excited. But uh, till then. We'll uh, see you guys next week. I hope you're not referring to Thomas being back. Not at all. (laughs) Okay. God bless. Thanks for listening to the pre-shift podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next week for another pre-shift.